Hi, Gabby Cat friends. I hope you're ready for a catastic episode of the show where I make mini versions of things from Gabby's dollhouse. Gabby and the Gabby Cats have so many amusing adventures in the rooms of her dollhouse. Today, a fairy fly is moving into the fairy tale garden. Let's make the fairy fly lantern that Gabby has to help her find the fairy fly's home. Time to make a fairy fly house for my DIY dollhouse. The fairy fly's house is surrounded by tall grass and lots of pretty flowers and mushrooms. The house is made out of a little tree stump. There are even cute mushroom steps to enter the house. And a vine of purple flowers sits on top. Inside the house, the floor is decorated with a green lily pad carpet. Flower paintings are very rific decorations for the walls. The cute red mushroom table and chairs are perfect for snack time. There are two little button tables in this fairy fly house. And a pink mushroom lamp. Being a true fairy friend means being helpful, kind, and welcoming. To be helpful, Gabby and Pandy make a bed for the fairy fly to rest in after their long journey. Mm -hmm. 
They build the bed with an acorn, a leaf, and a flower. Now I have everything I need to build a fairy fly bed of my own. To be kind, Gabby, Pandy, and Cakey make a fairy berry pie in case their friend is hungry when they arrive. I'm going to whip up a fairy berry pie for my fairy fly house. It's starting to get dark. That means the fairy fly will be here soon. Time to hang our fairy fly lantern. To be welcoming, Gabby and the Gabby Cats sing a glow song with glow sticks. We're so jazzed for you to get here. We've got glow sticks up to sing and cheer. We hope you see us and you smile because we're saying welcome glow, glow stick style. style. <gasps> Look. Up there! It's the fairy fly! Wow, wow, wow! <laughs> I had a pawtastic time crafting this fairy rific home today. I hope you enjoyed watching. Come back soon to see what else I make. For more fun crafts, be sure to watch Gabby's Dollhouse on Netflix.